Gary Brandt, please. This is Gary. Hi, Gary. This is Alexandra, and I'm calling you because I'd love to hear about your experience on Frankenstein Rising. Oh, oh, wow. Um, wow, this is true. Um, yeah, it was a great movie, and um, a, great, a great experience. 29 days working on this film. Uh, worked with Randall Malone, worked with Anita Page. Um, worked with Domitiano Arcangeli, he was a really good actor. Worked with Jerry Marin. Uh, just a lot of really good actors, and everybody was really, really pumped up to do this movie. It was, it was a lot of fun. Well, I, could, I could tell that by the trailer. So listen, Thank Gary, you. you have a, kind of a laid-back, Owen Wilson-esque way about you, except you look Greek or Italian, and you're well, sick. Thank you. Oh, yeah. But uh, you're sexy like Eric Bana in your own way. Yeah. So in Frankenstein Rising, you play kind of a different character named uh, Victor Frankson, the descendant of the late Dr. Victor Frankenstein. And it seems you're... Yeah, actually, Vincent. Vincent. My, my name was Vincent. Oh, Vincent. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, Victor, Victor is like my great, great-grandfather. That's cool. Okay, sorry about that. Well, that's why I'm calling you to ask you all about the movie. <laughs> you need to set me straight. I, no, no problem, no. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, you know, he's like a descendant, and basically I'm, I'm doing these experiments trying to bring people back to life, and um, I, I just figure out, wow, I mean, I'm, I'm interested in doing this kind of stuff because... It's in my genes, it's inherited. And so really that's what the movie's about. It's how I'm kind of going through life in this day and age. And, you know, here I go again, or, or here the family goes again, so to speak. No, oh, yeah, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Well, neither of you could ever be mistaken for plastic surgeons, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, d tell me, did you get a freaky feeling on the set while you were surrounded with all that bloody rememberment and electrocution and haphazard stitchery? Um, you know what? A little bit, but I really kind of got into uh, the feeling of that I was in an operating room. And I, I always thought about getting into medicine um, years ago. I, just, I was never really that good in math. And my science, you know, math and science are like my own subjects, but. It always interested me, so I really, I kind of got into it, you know, like I was really um, operating and doing, you know, doing day-to-day -day, uh, stuff, just just getting a little upset, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, getting pissed off in the operating room. Oh, mm, uh, yeah, well, plenty of doctors actually do do that in real life. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, but I we won't go there. I extreme that I went, because, I mean, I, you know, I kind of went bonkers from there. Yeah. And, uh, Hopefully not to that extreme. Yeah, I saw you in the trailer, and you were uh, you were incredibly intense. Um, so, how did you feel be, uh, being face to face with the monster who who was played by Randall Malone? Oh wow! I mean, you know, I, you know, I, 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 I didn't hear uh, basically much about who I was going to be playing with. I, I, I went into this movie. I didn't really know who the other actors were going to be, and um, when I when I did get to do my scenes with Randall, I thought he was just amazing. Um, he, his characterization was, was, was really awesome. I mean, he basically was almost like a, a giant baby, a giant evil infant. Um, and uh, kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> he was just hardcore bad at the bar. Wow. Yeah. You know? So yeah. the casting director was right on with that one? Oh, definitely. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, he, he did a great job. Beautiful. He did a really good job. Well, uh, I understand that you also worked with uh, Anita Page and Margaret O'Brien. Mm hmm Yeah, and Margaret O'Brien um, was like the biggest star in the mid-40s for MGM, and MGM was the biggest studio um, in the mid-40s. Wow, so that yeah. was a tremendous oh, honor for you. Yeah. What an honor. It, it is. I mean, it is. And she, you know, 
Coach, who's even nominated or, or won an Academy Award uh, for Meet Me in St. Louis. Um, yeah, she's she's an icon in, in Hollywood. So yeah, it was cool working with her, definitely. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, so let me ask you, Gary, in the movie you're very intense and you seem to be just incredibly easily ignited and uh, there's even a classroom scene. So will we get to see your passions extend beyond those of your frustrations with the resurrection? I certainly hope so. I mean, I, I you know, I, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would certainly hope so. Um, unfortunately, in the movie, I really don't get to be too passionate, quote unquote. But Eric Fisher does. He he he, he has his his really cool scenes. Eric, Eric with Fisher's Eric. Ooh, yeah. Eric Fisher's Eric got Fisher. his game on yeah. with your wife. Ooh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um. So that yeah, helps you. Yeah, fooling around. That helps with out, your intensity in the operating room. Pardon me? That helps with your intensity in the operating room. Oh, well, man, I'll tell you. I mean, she's like, you know, in the movie, she's like the only person I've ever loved, you know, until I Ooh, think Lazarus. Dangerous, love dangerous um, ground, Eric. Dangerous ground. Pardon me? Dangerous ground for Eric. Yes. Yes. Well, um, one last thing, Gary. Tell me, when and where can I get some popcorn and sit down in a dark theater to see more of you, Gary Brandt? Well, you, um, I know from what I heard, actually, um, I, was, I was told about a week ago that this movie is going to get played in the South and also in the Midwest in movie theaters. And um, I think it's just fantastic. And they're going to do it like a rock and roll tour. Um, there's some people affiliated with MTV that are behind this and they're going to be uh, on tour with the movie around the country and um, I think that's really the growing trend is to have some of these really cool uh, lower budget films pop in with some of these giant huge uh, budget movies and uh, so uh, that's, that's what's going on and actually there's a security guard here and he's Want to know what's going on. Say, say hi to Alexandra. She's going to Oh, security! You have no uh, idea who you're talking to. This is the star Alexandra. of. This is the star of uh, Frankenstein Rising, Gary Brandt. Oh wow! Yeah. So uh, keep sure. your keep your wits about you. Pardon me. Tell. I was telling the security guard to keep his wits about him. Yeah. Anyway, listen. I got to get going. Okay. Well, thanks yeah, so much for your thanks, time, Gary. Thanks for calling. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see your movie. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.